And Point Doppler 12 Futurecast meteorologist Michelle Muscatello joining us tracking pinpoint weather alert for this high surf advisory on a beautiful day out there, Michelle. That is, Brian. A lot of people uh, out trying to get another day of summer activities. If you are headed down to the coastline, Newport Harbor right now, we are uh, seeing light winds at the shoreline good visibility there and it's beautiful up in oakland beach with uh, the sun reflecting off the water and the cars as they drive by or park in the parking lots so we are tracking that summer warmth as our leading weather headline it's going to stick around into thursday with some muggy air too maria hurricane sitting uh, southeast of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, going to stay away. We'll bring some ocean swells and some rip currents, and we flip to fall starting on Friday. The weekend may be significantly cooler than how we are starting this week. And speaking of starting this week, we do have the high surf advisory continuing, and that is going to last through tomorrow, but I would be expecting that high surf advisory to also be extended into Wednesday and possibly Thursday as we deal with Maria passing well to our south. The radar is quiet this noontime. We'll widen out the view and show you where we are with Maria. It's a hurricane right now. High pressure is kind of slowing its forward progress, so it's slowly crawling northward as a 80 mile per hour sustained wind with this storm, making it a category one hurricane. It's going to be forced to the east. You can see our future cast here as that high pressure moves east. We've got a cold front coming through that front and an upper level trough in the jet stream will help to pull Maria away, shove it out to sea. And again, for us, there'll be very minimal impacts. Looking at our city cam in Providence, it is 82, feels like 84 with a light southerly wind. Warmest spots are inland. Cumberland's up to 86, 81 in Westport. And those temperatures in Newport Harbor, noticeably cooler at 72. Watching some low clouds offshore, a little fog. That's going to try to creep towards the coastline by sunset and then spread inland from there. So some low clouds and some reduced visibility due to fog possible overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. Rest of this afternoon, though, should be nice. Climbing up into the middle 80s inland, temperatures dropping into the 70s, 6, 7 o'clock in the evening. Out on the bay today, we're looking at wave heights 2 to 4 feet. So even though the winds have been light, we have been seeing those uh, choppy seas and high tide today right now 12 11 this afternoon. There are those evening temperatures. We make it into the 60s, but it's a warm, humid night for uh, late in September, only falling down to around 62 degrees. And if you've got it, AC fans going to be on next few days with a combination of much warmer than normal temperatures, as well as that higher humidity. So up to around 82 degrees for tomorrow. Morning fog and clouds giving way to partly sunny skies. Temperatures on Wednesday are similar. Dry during the daytime on Wednesday, but Wednesday night we could see some showers moving and it'll be warm and humid to start on Thursday with a lingering shower possible. Humidity starts to dry Thursday's our transition day to fall, well, at least feeling like fall. Friday into the weekend, our temperatures will only top out in the 60s, and we could see some nighttime lows this weekend in the 40s. Two seasons in one week. No, I'm not. Well, please, everyone. So it goes in New England. All right, Michelle, thanks so much. Now, stories coming up new tonight.